Hello, welcome to the Greco family. In this initial setup video series, we will show you all the connections your LED display needs to work efficiently. First, we will show you how to connect your LED display to its power and data sources. Then we will guide you through the connection process between your video processor and your LED display. We make it easy for you to connect your LED display by sending you diagrams tailored to your model and panel configuration. Power supply and connections. For the power connections, we include power con cables. In indoor panels, you will find cables with two different white blue tips to represent input and output. In outdoor panels, the connections are not differentiated by color, however the same principle of input and output is followed. To connect the power cables, please refer to your wiring diagrams. Connect the cable by inserting it in the outlet, and then make a 45 degree turn to secure it into position. If you want to disconnect the cable, pull the release pin to unlock the connector, make a 45 degree turn in the opposite direction, and you will be able to pull the cable out. The white-blue cables on indoor panels are used for horizontal connections while the white-white and blue-blue cables are used to carry power vertically from one end of the panels to the next. We recommend to follow the pattern on screen when connecting the panel power supplies. The main power cable connects to the first panel in the chain and its dedicated power outlet or brackets. Both 110 volts and 220 volts voltages can be used on the LED displays. Remember to confirm each of your power outlets voltage. Some power outlets are automatic. Always confirm your power outlets meet the requirements for the LED display. 20 amp dedicated outlets 110 volts to 220 volts when your LED display turns on, you will see the rear LED flash intermittently. Signal connection. For signal connections, we include the Theracon cables. These cables are used serially in the display and have no inputs or outputs. It all depends on the path they follow. To learn in detail how to connect them, you can refer to the second page of your wiring diagram. To connect the cable, just insert it into the corresponding port. To disconnect it, press the release pin on the connector. The main signal cable connects to the first panel, and depending on the size and pitch of your display, you may have more than one main cable section. Video processor connections. Your LED display includes a video processor. The video processor's model will vary depending on your needs. We will show you the main processor connections. The video processor is the brain of the system and should be located in the control booth or at a place where you have a front view of the display. Power AC13 power cable will be included with your processor. Plug it in to power it up. Input. On each processor we will find connections such as HDMI, VGA, DVI, or SDI here we will connect our computer or video source. Then, for Greco video processors, we will have to make the link between the sending cards and the processor using a DVI to DVI cable. You can use DVI-A or DVI-B. If you have more than one sending card, all of them must be connected using the DVI cable. If the green light on the sending card flashes four times per second, you have a successful connection. Otherwise, check the connection ports or DVI cable. Sending card. Here we will find the Ethernet ports where we will connect the main cables coming from our display. On Greco and Taurus video processors, we will refer to the ports from left to right as 1 and 2. USB control. The USB port will be used to configure the LED display. Connect the USB AB cable included in the box from the sending card to your Windows computer. Refer to connection on Novastar and Taurus processors. It is important that you use a Windows computer to calibrate your panels, but don't worry about sending content you can use any system. We will teach you all about this later. Sending card replacement. If you want to replace or simply attach one more sending card to your rig, you can do it by loosening the side screws that hold the slot, 
then replace or place the new sending card in its place. And don't forget to connect the power cable. Put the slot back in place and connect all the corresponding external cables. Now all the connections of your display are ready. For more information keep watching our video series or go to our webpage www.grecoled.com.